Hello and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. In today's maths lesson, we are going to be looking at compass directions. So north, east, south, west, north, east, south, east, south, west and north, east. So what is a compass? Well, a compass is a tool for finding direction. A simple compass is made up of a magnetic needle mounted on a pivot or a short pin. And the needle which spins freely, always points to the north. And you can see on this one, it's pointing up towards the north. The pivot is attached to a compass card and the compass card's marked with the direction. So north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest. So the four main compass directions are north, east, south, and west. And you can see that with an N, S, and a W, so N-E-S-W. And we remember that using a saying, and that saying is never eat shredded wheat. So never starts with an N, ever starts with an E, shredded starts with an S, wheat starts with a W. So never eat shredded. And we can remember that using action, so never eat shredded so imagine you're shredding some paper wheat so we can do a w so never eat shredded wheat and again never eat shredded wheat so north and south are opposite one another so face one another and east and west are opposite one another as well so west is to the left of north east is to the right of north so what north east, south and west. What could we call the other four directions? Well, the compass point that's between north and east becomes northeast. The compass point between south and east becomes southeast. The compass point between south and west becomes southwest. And the compass point between north and west becomes northwest. And you can see that here. So we've got north, so never, northeast, east, eat, southeast, shredded, south, southwest, wheat, west, northwest. So if you imagine it's between the two main points out of the four, so between north and east becomes northeast, between south and east becomes southeast, between south and west becomes southwest, between north and west becomes northwest. And that's how we remember it. So if you imagine if you were facing the front in your room north would be in front of you south would be to the back of you east would be to the right of you west would be to the left of you and then the northeast southeast southwest and northwest would be the corners of your room so if you were facing the front you'd have north east behind you south to the left of you west and then your corners would be northeast southeast southwest Northwest. So we've got a little song now to see whether you can remember the cardinal direction. So have fun singing along. North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? It's going north. North, north. going south. 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 going north and south and east. East it's going north. Mix them all up, then go fast, not slow to the sunshine or the snow. No, I like south. And she likes north. And they're loving west and east. She goes east. And he likes south. And their favorite's north and west. North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? It's going north. North's going south. South's going north. Direction 
be like the map. Grab a map and try this. Point north, point south, point west, point east. The first letters of west and east spell the word we. Now try again. Point west, point south, point east, point north, point west. That was fast. Point south, point south again, point west and north and east. Great job. North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? North, south, east or west. Which direction do you like the best? So another way to remember North, East, South and West, instead of never eat shredded wheat, never eat soggy waffles. Definitely not. You want your waffles definitely not to be soggy. So now I want you to stand up and face the front of your room. You're going to pretend that that's North. And when I say one of the compass directions, I want you to see whether you can move your body or you can even move towards the compass point that Miss Bailey is telling you to stand or face towards um, so if you're facing the front you're facing north so what I want you to do I want you to turn your body and face east you did it right if you turned your body to face the right side well I don't know if you got it right face the front again face north this time I want you to face west Remember, the compass points are in front of you on this video if you want to have a little look. You should have gone from facing the front to facing the left. Well done if you got it right. Face the front again. Or oh, I'm going to give you some hard ones now. Can you face or walk towards south east? South east. So think to yourself, south east is between east and south. What if east is the right side, facing the right side, and south is the back? The diagonal corner between it is south east. Hopefully you got that one right. Face the front again, face north. Can you face the south? You should have turned around and faced the back. It's exactly opposite to north. Face the front again. Last one we'll do. Can you face northwest? So northwest is the diagonal corner between north and west. So from the front, if you face that diagonal corner between north and west, you will be facing the correct way. So now we're going to have a little look at the map here. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. So we need to write a set of instructions and directions using our compass points. And that's what we're going to do. We've got to go from the start and get to the X. So, what I'm going to try and do is write the instructions as we go. And I'll try and see if I can also draw them. So, if we start here, we're looking for a clear path. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to colour that in so you can see it. So, we're going to go four squares. We want it to be nice and clear. Four squares, and we've got to decide which direction is it. Is it north? Is it west? Is it northeast, southeast? Which one do you think it is? Of course, it is north. So, north. So, I'm going to put move at the beginning. So, move four squares north. That's the first thing we need to do. Now, let's get another colour. Now, we've got to move more towards the X. So, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six so then i've got to say move six squares this time and which direction is it is it north is it south is it east is it west of course it is west it's going towards the left so west and then the final one one two so then we're going two squares so move two squares north again so that's quite a nice easy one move four squares north one two three four six squares west one two three four five six two squares north one two and i get to the treasure i could if i wanted to do a much more complicated path and this is something that my year threes might want to do so let's make it a little bit more complicated we can make a crazy path a really long path so, I'm going to go up here first and stop there. 
So I'm moving two squares north this time. Look, one, two. Then I'm going to go down here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to move eight squares this time and then think about what direction. So move eight squares. And of course, if I'm going to the left, I'm going west. From here, I'm then going to make it even more complicated. I'm going to make a really long way around. I'm going to go up to here. So I've gone, let me change that colour. So I've gone one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm moving six squares north. I'm then going to go one, two, three, four squares east. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four squares south. Oh, nearly there. This is a very long set of instructions. See if I can put it over here. There we go. Let's do that in a different colour so you guys can see it. We'll do that one in black. And then one, two squares. West. And then finally, move two squares. North, and we'll put that on here as well. Two squares north, one, two perfect. So now you can see here it's always like a maze. We're going all this the long way around. If you need a really nice long walk when you're walking your dog, now we're going to see whether you can do this game. And you can play along at home, it's a really good game to test your compass direction so you know it. So here is a smiley face and we need to follow the instructions. It says one step west, one step north, one step east. Now on this one, you don't click the button until the final instruction. So it's where you end up last. So I can use my mouse. So we're, we've got a compass down here that can help us. So one step west, well west is to the left. So I'd go one step west, one step north, up, one step east to the right. And we get some points. Next one, one step south. So I'm going down. Seven steps to the east, to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One step north. And we keep doing that each time. So two steps south. One, two. Seven steps to the west, to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two steps south. One, two. One step south, one step to the west, seven steps north. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, this is a hard one. Two steps south, one, two, eight steps east. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four steps north, one, two, three, four. And you can keep playing like that and that's gonna get you to practise moving north, south, east and west. So for your work today, you have to follow the instructions and draw the things that are on the instructions. So for example, it says, from the black star, so in the middle here, draw a green circle three squares north. So you need to move three squares north, one, two, three, and you would draw a green circle circle there so let me get a circle shape so one two three and you draw a green circle just like that then from the black square again so you always go sorry the black star you always go back to the black star number two a blue square one square south so from there one square south a blue square and you keep following what it tells you to do. So that would be my blue square and you keep going. If you're in year three, I've got a slightly different one because yours is using all the points. So, and there, there's a lot more. 
from the black star draw a green circle three squares north one two three three squares south east one two three one square south two squares north west one two so your green circle would be right there so it's a lot more difficult so there's more than one instruction and you've got to follow it as you go so we can just check that again just to double check so three squares north one two three three squares southeast one two three one square south two squares northwest one two perfect and it would go there so have fun completing your task for today